The brief we got this year from House of Fraser was all about keeping the sort of energy and spirit and irreverence that we've had in previous years, um, but executing it in a slightly different way. The whole story is about these two sisters uh, when they were kids and that merriness that they used to have and how they channel it through to, um, to their adult years. Vaughan and Anthea are uh, their first job together for 20 years. We used to work together and then we separated, went our own ways and then we didn't speak for 20 years, literally. And then this is our first job together. Um, and it just was brilliant. It was like nothing could ever happen. Uh, my favourite, one of my favourite ads in the world is Levi's Creek. And when I was told they were reuniting, I was like, we've got to get them in. There's a massive um, truthfulness when you get to this point in your life anyway. Well, when you're nearly dead. <laughs> Probably when we first started out, you know, we were in our 20s and you kind of, there were times that you didn't want to step on one other's toes and now you can be just very, very open. Yeah. And you're always going to have creative differences yeah. because we're two quite different people with very different inspirations, but I think that's what kind of makes it work, really. The process has been, um, it's been like nothing I've ever experienced with directors before. They are like chalk and cheese, and when they come together, it's actually, like, it's quite magical. The thoroughness and the passion that they put into this, it really, really shows in, in the ad, I think. So we started with real sisters, and once we found the real sisters, we could then design the look, the costume, the colours and everything to get that kind of look. We kind of knew it might be a hard thing to match the older sisters to young, but in fact we just got really lucky. We thought we were going to be in for like eight or nine casting sessions, but we just got really lucky. And what was sort of incredible is that our final kind of casting callback session, we had the young girls in the room and the older two girls walked in to join them so that we could do like a group shot. It was just like Amazing. everybody was like, it's like a Twilight Zone moment, it's quite funny. When we were shooting on the set, and Will Bex, our DP, he'd take a still, and then we just grade it slightly, and it was like, oh my God, like, it really worked, it was brilliant. When you look back at your own, even Polaroids, the kind of odd flatness that you get in the 80s is something that, you know, modern cinematography has striven to get rid of. So you're kind of, edging all that stuff back in, in a way that doesn't look too heavy-handed or, or that has got too much of an effects you look to it. I think that's why we're quite pleased with it, because it doesn't really look like an effect. I don't think uh, the sisterly bond has been represented in advertising that much, because I don't think people know how to write it, actually, I don't, I, without it being very cheesy. And the other thing we didn't want is, you know, two little girls dressed up in pretty pink dresses. It's, you know, that's not how girls behave, they run around tearing up paper chains and they cause chaos and they overflow their bowls with cornflakes and stuff and we really wanted to um, show uh, girls and women being themselves, not playing into a stereotype that advertising believes. Oh.